Happening today, the U.S. will begin to lift travel restrictions on visitors from a number of countries, including Canada and Mexico. It's the first time since COVID restrictions were put in place back nearly 20 months ago. So Channel 3's Caitlin Francis joins us now with what the new rules are for these visitors. Caitlin. Yeah, they have to be fully vaccinated and provide proof of a negative COVID test. Starting today, after being shut out for nearly 600 days, the world's longest land border will be back open to those who are vaccinated. Canada welcomed fully vaccinated Americans back in August. The U.S., though, did not reciprocate at that time. The land border reopening may not create an immediate economic boom either. That's because Canada is requiring its citizens to present a negative COVID PCR test upon reentry, which for Canadians can cost up to $300 each. U.S. Congress members, as well as mayors and community leaders, from both sides of the border are urging the Canadian government to drop that requirement. Reopening the borders comes as COVID cases here in the U.S. remain flat with about 72,000 new daily infections and almost everyone flying into the U.S. will have to be vaccinated again and show that negative COVID test within 72 hours of travel. There will be some exceptions made for people from countries with limited access to vaccines. I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.